All right, in this video, we're going to um, talk about expressions that involve multiplication and division. And we're going to begin with an example where you're at a grocery store, and instead of buying individual apples, you're going to buy apples in a bag. And there happens to be four apples in every bag all the time. And uh, so we're going to make a table. And the left column is number of bags, and the right column is the total number of apples. And uh, so let's run through some just made-up examples. So if you buy two bags, how many apples are you going to get? You're going to get eight apples, because each bag has four apples. You're buying two bags, so two times four, eight. So let's throw another example up there. If you buy five bags of apples, you're going to get 20 apples. And if you purchase nine bags of apples, you're going to get 36 apples. And so now it's time to throw in the variable expression. So, so far everything has kind of been like a numerical expression. 2 times 4 equals 8. 5 times 4 equals 20. So now it's time to throw in a variable expression. And so if we buy n bags of apples, how many apples are we going to get? Well, it's going to be 4 times n is the number of apples that we're going to get. So this little 4n 4n means 4 times n. And it also means n times 4, but um, 4 times n is what 4n means. Now, there's some conventions about the way mathematicians like things. You know, a convention, a convention is a, a rule that we just follow, not because there's any real important reason. It's just something that we all have agreed to follow. And here's the deal. We don't like n x 4 for like n times 4, or n dot 4, or 4 times n, like 4xn, or 4 dot n, or n4. These are all no. I mean, a mathematician would understand what the heck you were talking about, but really, this is what we want. We want 4n to represent 4 times n. And then, uh, let's say, let's go in the reverse. Let's say we know how many apples we've purchased. Let's say we've purchased um, x number of apples altogether. Well, how many bags have we purchased? Well, let's go in reverse. How, how do you go from an 8 to a 2? Well, you do 8 divided by 4 equals 2, and 20 divided by 4 equals 5, and 36 divided by 4 equals 9. So what are we going to do down here? We're going to do x divided by 4 gives us the number of bags that we've purchased. So right here, n and 4n, are, uh, is an example of an expression using multiplication. And here, if you have x number of apples, you've purchased x divided by 4 or x over 4 number of bags. And this is a variable expression involving division. All right, now here we have a stick. And we're going to say that this stick is 78 inches long. So from here to here, is 78 inches long. And for this problem, what we're going to say is, we're going to say we're going to cut that stick into six individual pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six. And they're equal sized pieces. All six of these pieces are going to be equal sized pieces. And the big question is, all right, well, how long is each of these pieces going to be? So 78 inches cut into six equal sized pieces. How long is each piece going to be? Well, that's a pretty easy problem to do. You just do 78 divided by 6, and you get 13. So each of these pieces of the stick is 13 inches long. Pretty easy. That's a numerical expression. By the way, something that a lot of students kind of get confused with is there's four different ways to write division, and all four of them look different, but they mean the same thing. Uh, this is 6 into 78. This is 78 over 6, but they all mean the same thing. This is 78 divided by 6, and this is literally the words 78 divided by 6. And they're all the same. Particularly, students get confused with this version right here and this version here, because here, 6 is in the front, and over here, 78 is in the front. So um, be aware that these are four different ways to say the same thing, 78 divided by 6. Okay, down here, we have a stick, only this time, the stick is x inches long. And the question is, if we cut it into four 
equal sized pieces, what is the length of each one of these pieces up here? And, well, if we did 78 divided by 6 up here, we're going to do x divided by 4 over here, and there's your answer. But, four different ways to write the same thing. So instead of saying 4 into x like this, or x divided by 4, most commonly, mathematicians are going to write it like this, x over 4. So really, most mathematicians are going to prefer that you write x over 4 as the, the length of each one of these little pieces of the stick, x over 4.